I got in one little fight. My mom got scared. We finally made it, y'all. Bel Air is here. I think you need to go into this understanding. This ain't the Fresh Prince, bruh. Not from the 90s. So when the trailer dropped for this, I was like, yo, why they ain't got none of the characters from the fan-made trailer in this? Like, what, what are they doing? Like, fam, who is you? We don't even know you, fam. But after watching the first three episodes, I can see they've done an amazing job with the casting. Like, this show is really answering the question, why were the other characters acting the way they were? What made them that way? Like, we're getting a deeper look into their mental, which is crazy. I love that part of this. The show is raw. The show still has fun elements, but don't get it twisted. This is a drama. There are multiple villains in this show, and Young Will wants all the smoke. Now, they did, however, rush trying to make an emotional connection with Will a little too early. It's a little too early. I wasn't quite ready for it yet. It's like they tried to redo the scene where he was crying. He said, well, my father don't want me, man, but they did it too early. Carlton the Cokehead was a nice touch in this. It wouldn't have been believable in the first one. This, this needs that. This is that show. I even love how they call Jeffrey a house manager instead of a butler. Small details. I already know this show's gonna take us some places and I'm here for it. I'm here for it. As you can see, I got the Philly Special Edition on right now because this show is a special edition. You already know what time it is. I'm tipping the brim because this shows the truth. 